Hello and welcome to Driven Plus. And today you're joined by myself, Max Achtavani, and my little friend here, Troy Baker. And behind us we have probably the two of the hottest cars of 2024 so far, the Range Rover Sport SV and the McLaren 750S Spider. And this is what we're going to be talking about today. We'll get that in another video, so keep your, your eyes peeled. You've done a thousand miles. 1400. For, 1400 miles. And, and, and can I put that in perspective for you? Yeah. I picked that car up on the 23rd of December. I, I was and it's yeah. today, the 23rd of uh, January. I was literally about to say, you've probably just had it for, for literally a month. Um, so congratulations. You've got through it. It's still here. That's the main yeah. thing. Come on, in McLaren. Winter. <laughs> now, I've got to say, during those 1000 miles, it's been launched by Matt Watson more yeah. than once. Five times? No, ten times. Yeah, ten times. It's done a quarter mile, half mile. Um, so it hasn't had an easy life. It's been back to McLaren. Yes. <laughs> uh, and it's winter. Grit, grime and all those things that the roads throw up on you. Yeah. If you're thinking of buying a McLaren 750S, what to expect or, or any McLaren really. Um, but how has your experience been in kind of short summary? So first thing I want to do is give a shout out to Ben Glennie. Um, from uh, McLaren Manchester, he's yeah. fr from the start to the finish with this car, um, from taking the deposit way back before um, end of 2022, believe it or not, um, and then through all the NDAs with McLaren. I must shout out to McLaren as well; they've been brilliant. Obviously, he came along with me to Estoril to experience the car. Yeah, so an awful, was, yeah. awful lot has happened, and that's a video you can watch as well um, on the screen now. Yeah. Um, all the way through, so it's been a lot of anticipation. I never specced my original 720, so I had a black 720 um, it's a Spider. Um, that was your first McLaren, wasn't it? That was my first McLaren. The reason I've chosen McLaren more than anything else is I'm tall, I'm six foot five. Yeah. So there's, um, I can fit in an Italian sports car, but only ones with roofs, certain seats, they're not easy. And when you're driving a car, worth the value some of these cars are worth, you want to feel comfortable and by far out of all the cars I've gone and driven the McLaren is the most put together and I think even when you see videos from the likes of Matt Watson and things yeah. he talks about how pointed the car is you've driven this car how pointed the cars are yeah. I think the words precise it's, uh, yeah precise, precise precision but I want to start on McLaren 750s yeah versus the 720s now a lot of people are saying 720s is better value okay but to put, the to put the McLaren 750S into perspective, you could have a 720S Spider and Coupe for the price of this, £341,000 with change. So I sold, the, actually, yeah. So I sold my 720 in around about September time this year. 2023. 2023, not this year. Yeah. Um, and it was £185,000. Yeah. Right? It was a 2020 McLaren Spider. Looked essentially a little bit like that if you squinted. At that time, you could pick up a 2019 coupe for about 125, 130,000. Bit of a high mileage on it. You still can't. Um, so you're talking about around, around about the 300,000 mark. Yeah. There's still 41,000 pounds worth of extras on top of that to take that to 341. Yeah. But I didn't get spec you wouldn't get spec those cars. And, and, and this is what I've wrote down, because I think comparing the 720S versus 750S is unfair. Very unfair. Because you're comparing, you're comparing used versus new, but also this is more 765 than 720. Yeah. So to put that in perspective, the starting price of the 720S new on its last year of production was the coupe was 222 thousand pound right the spider started from 240 thousand pound ish right okay. coupe 750 244 thousand so there's 22 grand difference and the spider was 269 thousand so again 25 20 ish grand different yeah when you put it like that and when you say oh well there's only 20 grand between them huge difference you think well, that 750s is bloody good value oh yeah the, and and that's the thing, McLaren, you know, McLarens are a ridiculously good value and I think they get a really bad rap in the, in the industry for um, how they are. The one thing I would say 
this car and the previous 720, the engines are phenomenal. Yeah. The engines are phenomenal on the 720. It's got gripes, but if you've owned enough cars, Range Rovers, I've, I've had bigger gripes in a Volkswagen camper van yeah. than I've had with this car. So going on to the, your, your, your ownership experience, and um, we're going to talk about a few of the little niggles you've had. Um, and when I said at the start of the video, it's been back to McLaren, the window. Yeah, so when I picked it up on the 23rd, excited, um, I picked it up, I literally drove to the shops because it was 23rd of December, so it was just before Christmas. I had to pick up some stuff, some Christmas presents, um, and it took about 10 to 15 times to lock the car because the window kept on dropping. And it was to do with hitting the bump stops yeah. on the window. Um, so I could get it locked, it would, but it kept on bumping down. So McLaren, straight away, I rung them that day. They said, look, we've got no technicians. It was late in the day on the, on the Saturday, the 23rd. So they said, um, how about you, uh, you, um, you come and bring it in the first available day, which is the 27th. So Manchester, fantastic. And they literally went in, looked at the door, and it was just a slight misalignment on, yeah. a, on something that was causing it to uh, bump up and down. But after 115 miles in this car... I, you have to check the, the fuel, the uh, oil on these manually, yeah? Right. So I actually sat in the car and did a check after I'd done 115 miles, and the actual oil on the car was at its minimum. So i.e. it had come from McLaren with the minimum amount of oil in it. So had I not picked that up and I'd gone by the book, which is you check your oil generally every... If you drive them normally, which you would as you're running in for the yeah. first 600 miles, yeah. um, every 1,000 miles. Um, so I wouldn't have necessarily checked that. Now, it was on minimum oil. With the fact that we were taking it to Matt Watson, somewhere between 600, and it actually was on 1,000 miles when we took it there, so it had a good run in. Um, we were lucky I checked the oil. And since then, I filled it before it went with Matt, and it hasn't gone down. But again, McLaren on the 27th, they topped it up straight away your second experience because you picked it up Christmas time we had a lot we had here in the UK we had a lot of rain during that time yep when uh, you opened the passenger door yes have you got the video of that I have got the video so it's on your screen right now <laughs> so between the um, passenger and driver's door the passenger door was taking on water yeah. and it's literally some i've done some investigations since and it's a little capping capping slightly out of alignment looks to me as if stones have gone up in, inside and caused a, a, a dam almost of water within the door and is that fixed yet it will be it's not at the yeah. moment but it gets parked in a garage all the time and yeah. i make sure the doors are open to allow the water out of the doors but again that is you know this is a brand new model that part is physically new to this car Okay, it's not the same as 720. So again, it, it's y y you know, is it a customer finding out? Yeah, yeah. These things. I go back before when you said about the oil. You yeah. Know, the, it came with the minimum oil from McLaren. But what about the grade? So, <laughs> the 720 was always 0 0.40 Mobile One. Yeah. And Mobile One. It's quite hard to get a hold of itself. It's who sponsors McLaren, apparently. OW40. OW40. Was in the 720. Was in the 720. Okay. I have six litres of it. Believe it or not, you could buy it in Costco. You can buy everything there, but they had that particular oil, which was a nightmare for me to get. When I got the car, we were going down to Matt Watson. I needed some oil, so I went to the manual. And that's where I found out it's now Golf Elite 5 Watt 40. And McLaren don't know that. No, because when I phoned them up, they told me it was Mobile One 0 40, which is on the specification of the 750S yeah. on their internal system. So whatever computer system they have, it still says the service is for 0 40 Mobile One. But the manual says 0, 5 5W40 40. Golf Elite, but I have been assured I can use my Mobile One, <laughs> mobile one and put that in the car. That's okay. confusing. Yeah. <laughs> and I think from the, from, my, from the last thing off the top of my head is 
and we've already covered it in the review, the 720 versus 750 review, with the uh, the battery gauge. The, yeah. Well, the uh, yeah, that's well, just. I, I would have thought the next time it goes in for a software update or service, that might have been software update that just clears that. Yeah, there's there's lots of things. You know, th this car doesn't have the fla flap up dash. This is more Artura's dash. I think, let's be honest, they've looked at the drivability of the car, the wider track, the, the, the suspension. Yeah. I can't fault any of that. To do what it did with Matt Watson, phenomenal. Didn't miss a beat, yeah? It went, it did its job. Yeah. Um, the electronics on this car, I think maybe that's been an afterthought, and I'm sure with updates over time, it will come. This has CarPlay on a cable. People are talking about it come with Android. I don't think it's ever going to have Android. Um, a car, so if you're buying this car, there's a lot of things on that side. And the, the gauge for the electric is just a silly software thing. But you can't control tracks anymore from the dial, from, from, the, um, from the controls on the yeah. wheel. Yeah. They, they've taken some of that away. But again, if you're buying a McLaren, you're going to be more about the engine noise and how it drives. 100%. I think I've covered... Just one more thing. <laughs> so, none of us noticed until it went out for the yeah, 720, 750 uh, comparison. And on the front bumper, there's actually a, 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 a crease. When, when we, there was a crease down it yeah. when we're parked next to a building. You could see it dart down. I didn't know whether you wanted me to mention that or not. <laughs> so, so, well, no, it's there. And, it's, and, and to be fair to McLaren, yeah. they have jumped on it. And McLaren Manchester have done a stellar thing, as you'd expect. You know, you're paying a lot of money for a car, or any, yeah, yeah. any manufacturer. Yeah. Some are worse than others. As I say, I've had Volkswagens that have caused me problems in the past, and the, the dealership doesn't want to, you know, touch things. It's much the dealer and as much as the, the manufacturer. In my experience, this is a brand new car. The front bumpers are different. That small crease you have to look for it to notice it, but it is there, and it's not just my car. Yeah. I have had confirmation that it is other cars, so Thank it you. is good feedback back into McLaren. Um, the weave on the rear um, uh, wing yeah. has a slight mottled effect in it where the weave doesn't sit properly. Again, McLaren's come forward and said, yeah, that's, that, that, that's, that's done, because it's not acceptable, yeah? Now, some could say, why wasn't this all done before it left? The fit and fit function on this car is phenomenal. What we're talking about are small blemishes yeah. in yeah. the vehicle yeah. that um, we picked up with them and they've just gone, no quibble, we're sorting it. Tell me what's good. Oh, my 720 used to put a smile on my face every time I got in it. Yeah. It's absolutely brilliant, absolutely fantastic, best car in the world. That car is a phenomenal car. The 720 is a phenomenal car. I can't say that enough. If you have the ability to get into that car and that is in your budget go and get one of those cars i think it's, it's by far still one of the f the most performance driven supercars you can get I without think, a battery i think and currently I'm, now in the current market the 720s the best value supercar on the market oh by far yeah. the 750 just takes every part of that car and improves on it the feeling the handling the way it performs the fact that this is a spider and that was run against coupes with yeah. with carwell yeah. and outperformed and it it went every time yeah. other than the tires warming up i think if we rerun that in a summer and we rerun it with say a michelin tire and i'm going to put it out there i really want to swap those tires to michelin's yeah. because everybody tells me michelin's I, th I would love to test a Mitchell tire on that car because I only had P0s on my last car. I've had P0s on this, and when I did have the chance to change them on the 720, Michelin's weren't available because... <laughs> I keep telling Troy to change to Michelin's, by the way. He's getting there, we're getting there. We're getting there. Well, yeah. it's, it's going to be something we try. It, 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 it definitely is because the P0s in summer are brilliant, and if somebody yeah. tells me that yeah. there's enough McLaren owners that say Michelin takes it that little bit further, I've got to try it because... I just don't see how the car could get better than it is now. It is, it's just brilliant. It's just, yeah, phenomenal. And I'm not just saying that because I own the car. I'm saying it because it, it does put that um, smile on your face. And as a supercar, it still looks modern. And the changes they've made, the, the, all the things that you could get on the 765, like the vents, the wheels, the, all these extra bits just make it stand out.
I think we've pretty much covered pretty much everything in terms of your experience yeah. and ownership. And for anyone yeah, thinking absolutely of fantastic. buying a 750S, then th there you go. You've heard it from the man himself. Yeah. He's, he's been there and done it. Thank you very um, much for having me. Troy, thank you for sharing your experience. Massive thanks to APM Customs. Um, sitting in McLaren, obviously, for... Yeah, uh, Ben Glennie. If you need a McLaren, go see Ben Glennie. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, we hope you enjoyed this little sit down video, a bit different to what we normally do, but uh, if you could leave a like and subscribe and we'll be back with more content, especially on the SV. See you later guys, cheers.